Evelyn Reclaim. Now we are at the Shirodel and Eglison Market Fair and Garden Experience, Enchanted Garden Experience. And we're just gonna show you the vibes, how everything is going. And uh, I hope when it opens again, you're going to be there. So we're going to start with what they consider to be the market fair, okay? So all along the road to the, the garden, the Enchanted Garden, you have uh, people from the community who are selling their products. They have food on sale, drinks on sale. It's just really a beautiful vibe. And it's a tea party, so we had to get our good tea. That's the original. See how thick it is? Original. Mm. The difference. Mango long. Yes. Mango liquor. liquor. Both of them good. Both of them are good. You know already. <laughs> and of course, we have the very one, the local Trapiton. water, Trapiton. Best in the business. So I'm personally going to get a Trapiton. When you come here, you can decide. It's too early for me to drink anything else. Trapiton for now. <laughs> on sale now when they say market fair they mean food stuff but also plants so if somebody wants to have uh, plant certain flowers in their house this is the best place to get their flower plants let's go so we are here with the amazing virginia Girodel, and she's going to take us around you know show us a couple plants and see why it's important for you to have them in your home let's go okay <laughs> here we have this is here we have the coleus 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 it's a outdoor plant. Use it for decoration. You can use it for borders, but it's a decorative plant for outside. So decoration, for, yes, for, for, for outside, for okay. outside garden. Here yeah, we have the azaleas. Azaleas. Azalea. But this, this is the red. Because when you go up, you see the, all, we have them on the hill up there. You see the different colors. But this okay. is the red of the azalea. It's a cut flower. You see, that's a cut flower as well as decoration in your home. Okay. This is Petuna. Petunia. Uh, yes, Petuna. Mm -hmm. It is an outdoor plant mm -hmm. for borders or for decorating your garden. This is a succulent. It's another indoor plant. Use it as an indoor plant. 
use it for decorating your home. This is also some succulents which can be grown both in and out. Peace Lily. Peace Lily. Peace Lily. It's almost like an anterium. An anterium plant. It's a member of the anterium family, but it's Peace Lily. It can either be grown outdoor and also indoor. So how much do you this sell year? those plants in general? What's the price? I plants are from $20, so, $10, $5, depends on the size of the plant. So $20, $10, and $5, but outside of this market fair, will this be available like if somebody wants to buy their plant? Yes, because this is a greenhouse. We work here under the NEP three days a week, Monday, oh. Wednesday, Friday, and then we have those plants here for sale so people can come in. And I also have plants at my home, people visit my home and buy plants from my all year round you can get plants available so you can still come even after the market fair is done you can still come on the grounds and there's a greenhouse virginia is here it's under the national employment program virginia is here and they are selling those plants it's very affordable 5 10 20 based on the size of the plant so it really doesn't cost much to beautify this lovely island so when you come make sure you check out this greenhouse but we're going to see you around we're going to let virginia go back to her work and her customers and we're going to still show you around let's go thank you
<laughs> All right, so I'm here with the vlog travel with Claire, my sister. So I'm representing her. Your name is Joanne. Joanne. And yeah. Plantscape. Yes, I'm the owner of Plantscape. This is my welcome. Welcome. I'm here with Joanne and she's the owner of Plantscape. And one thing that struck me when I got to this booth was this nice saying, you deserve love every day, not just today. So, and that is the happiness project. So she was just explaining that this is May is a world of mental health month and uh, she wants to spread love. So she has free flowers. If you come, you can just take a flower and be happy. But tell us a little bit about what else we can find on your booth. Um, and even with your business. No problem. So, I actually specialize in handmade planters, different shapes, different colors, different sizes. Unfortunately, all my large ones are sold out right now. So these are what are available. So they're perfect for succulents, cacti. They make excellent birthday gifts, anniversary, or just because if you know someone who loves plants, perfect. And in addition to all of that, I decided to do regular planters. So you have a wide variety of other plants to choose from. Okay, I have a question though, like how far can this travel? Because I was wondering, you know, somebody who is not from here, if they want uh, like something to go with, can they travel with something like this or? Okay, well, what is perfect in, in that um, situation is that you could actually get the planter by itself. So whoever you're gifting it to overseas mm -hmm. can pot it with whatever plant that they like. So you just place an order online. I have both Facebook and Instagram, that's with Dominica. And, yeah. So they order this, you're going to ship it? Um, the planter, not the Oh, plant. the planter, okay. And then they can put any plant it, uh, they want. Okay. So yeah, here we have it, Plantscape Dominica. It's so important to keep plants alive and it's so good to meet people who love plants. Unfortunately, a lot of my aloe vera is dying, but I'll change my life, I'll change my ways and I'll make sure they come alive again. But thank you for having us. And definitely when we pass back, we need to get at least one of those plants. Yes. Thanks. Thank you for passing and enjoy the tour. Thank you. We will, thank you. getting my cactus on sale thanks and I'm a new plant mom so let's hope this one doesn't die thank you so much plantscape baby so you specialize in art yes you do carvings so these carvings are done by my mom my father does carvings as well but none of his work are here today so hopefully in October when we have the big one. events, then everybody's work will be incorporated. We have bottles done by, by my mother. Can we see some of these up close? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, really so we have painted ones, Woo! some rough with my glass. I mean, it's one thing to drink water, but can you drink water in a you know stylish bottle? Yeah, we man. agree. Maybe I agree with this all a, this. When you see that next time, they will have like castor or coconut oil inside I'm of it selling, yes. you know? Okay. That is our plan, you know? I'm taking some of the pictures. So how can somebody get these items? Well, we have, well, we don't have cars at the moment, but we will make them. So we just give out our number. Okay, so what is the number? 316-4966-315-6778. Three one six one seven five eight six three one seven five eight six three one seven five eight six two. Yes. All right. I like those bottles. So they can hold and like water to drink. Yeah. Because okay. there are, there are rum bottles under there. Hmm? There are rum bottles under there. Wine bottles. Wrap them bottle. with fabric, different fabrics. Okay. I like the one that's painted like I can wash it. So what is the um? What's the price? Okay, you have the pricing on these, yeah. and it's really affordable, guys. Like really. 30 something it, and it's nice it's hard work it's artistic it's beautiful so i feel like when you come down you have to support support support, support it. they say they're going to have much more stuff you know during the festival when people come here just know do not make other people come and buy it buy it first you know while it's available but i want to thank you all for for this um and i definitely want to know what um we want, I want to go my room When I pass back, I'm going to get this one. <laughs> so please, pick it for me. Yeah? So it's wood shop. 
the White Kuboli Arts Association booth and we're going to give you you know a walkthrough of what you can find here and anytime you visit make sure you support artists make sure you buy some paintings we have legendary paintings right here we also have a lot of local artists who are just beautifying the, the islands all the time so make sure you get to support so let's hear what they have okay. hi my name is Jenny Eaton and I'm the daughter of the little Eaton so and I'm part of the White Kuboli Artists Association relatively new member but try my best to help out and we have a couple of beautiful pieces here today from local various local artists and also photographers and also some print pieces here from the little kitchen as well done by me um yes so we have some from carol sorendo here this is a series carol sorendo okay. yes so this is a series here and then we have some from and Yena Eugene, she's another local artist right here. This is also from Carol as well, this as well. This is from Jenny Bell. This is another print from the Art Gallery of Wheaton, as well as this one right here. And we also have a few from Mia as well. Okay. One of the smaller pieces and so on. So yes, that's what we've got for the day today. And um, it looks like the weather is holding up, so hopefully we'll have a lot of people passing by today. Okay, what up? That is a that was a painting from how much is that one? This one is eighty dollars. Yes. Okay, and then you have the print pieces. What are yeah? The, this is a print. This is a print. So this is the, the small ones are eighty, and um, this one Bible as well is a print. The one that you I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
and Babadi. And it's available box. right here at the Bloom Box, Upper Center Roma. If you want, feel free to call 235 3479. Okay. It, back Thank to it. This you. is how it feels. Let me show you how does it, the water system works. It comes with a pump in a reservoir. As you see there, it feels right there like that. So the system goes in there, water drips there, comes out there fully drained, goes right back and back into the reservoir. The pump pumps it right back. So it recycles, recycles water. Water. Yeah. right around. What is this? You all install it at somebody's home if they order it? Yes, yes, we do. So what is the average fee? Well, the average fee, like, okay, one of these dot bucket system, one is 43, same 43. It comes with a semi-sol pump, which is the cheapest pump is 155. Depends on the size of the system. You might need a bigger pump, smaller pump. It all depends. So with about $300, somebody can have a nice have a system. Nice system. All right, I definitely have to very, check it out. Very affordable. Because I don't water my plants, so that is definitely my concern. Sure. I appreciate that. Thank you. Don't forget, don't forget to check us out at the store, Upper Center Roma, just after the bypass road. Thank you. So that's the whole process of making. Thank you. That's the whole process of making chocolate. And this is representing the Point Baptist Estate in Kalibishi. So actually, when you go to when you go to the estate, you get to see chocolate being made at you know different stages in the process. So this is just a display. I'm not sure if you can try. You are inside of. Can we try some of the stuff that you're doing? Like, can I grind some? All right, we are here at the booth of the Ministry of Agriculture, and there's a beautiful display of, you know, cocoa from the plant to the table. So let's look at it. So if you've eaten chocolate all the time and you've never seen it, please take a look. This is the OG, the original. So when you when you you harvest it, this is what they look like: harvested cocoa pods, and eventually you're going to extract uh, the beans. So here is a form of cocoa when it's you can see the beans here, right? Um, the next step is going to be fermenting them um, in boxes. You ferment for seven days. So this is the, ver the, the version of the beans. And you can see they are still very light and white. Um, then you're going to dry them. So here you see dried cocoa beans dry for seven days. So that's what they're looking like. They're not they're not smell like chocolate or anything, it's just cocoa beans, you know, nice and brown, dried. And then you're going to roast them. You're going to roast the dry beans. You're going to roast in oven or on a coal pot. We like the original, so this is a coal pot right there and then these are those are the roasted beans a lot of work goes into a lot of work goes into doing this and then you're going to have the 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 the, the grinding and the grinding here here they use, they use the mortar like as you can see it gets very fine 
And finally, and finally, you can get into this. And like back in the day, make it work. Make it work. So at the end, when you drink a cup of hot chocolate, a cup of you know original cocoa tea, really, I hope you have now a better idea. You know how it comes about. Now you can purchase a lot of the local chocolate from uh, the Point Baptist Estate, from Lino's, etc. So this is drinking cocoa. And very nice. We're still with the Ministry of Agriculture, and there's now a different type, you know, farming, animal farming. So I know we love to eat a lot of meat, but have you seen the animals when they are alive? Let's go. So here we have our baby goatees. Sheep. So the brown and black is the black belly. The other one is Catadin. Okay, sheep. And look at the little rabbit. Hi cousin. Now you can feed the rabbits but they're shy. Or they're not hungry. They're scared. Hey, but we are we are not We're just trying to feed your hair. Yeah baby. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, honey. Oh, look at that. Come, come, come. Come, come, hey, baby. They are very scared right now. Oh, look, look, he's eating, he's eating. Yes. Come, look at you. Oh, what's your look? They try to come at you. I just say this. <laughs> Thank you. 